Yo, what is up? Man, today's a great day. This is gonna be another short video for the What's On My Mind series that I've started. And today I wanna talk about what's holding us back, right? What's holding me back? What's holding you back from living the life that you want or just doing the things in life that brings you happiness and makes you fulfilled? If some friend comes up to you that you really support and they're like, hey, I wanna try something new. You know how like you have that like encouragement for that person. You're like, go, dude, go for it. You're gonna kill it. Just don't give up. But when it comes to like myself, I have all these like anxious thoughts. I get like worried about just like what others will think about me. And just me just doing anything outside of my comfort zone just seems like impossible. It's like I'm striving for things that make my life more comfortable. And my life orientates around this wavelength of me just being as efficient as possible. Hey, like I'm a student, okay? And I'm volunteering right now. My life sort of orientates around that. It's like I have certain responsibilities that I follow and then everything else just molds around it. But I was thinking of like, hey, like why does it have to mold around what I think society makes, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, why do I have to mold my life around things society says is important? I'm still figuring out why it's important. I feel like only experience would tell me that and I don't have that experience yet to sort of convince myself that, hey, like you gotta go to school. Hey, you gotta get a nice paying job. Maybe I'm just like so spoiled or I've, I've been so well off that everything has just been so comfortable. I'm blessed and I'm grateful in a way, but I'm also like hating it in a way because I'm like, every day I wake up, there's food in my house and there's no like effort being put into this and there's no like reward for me putting in work and getting things in life. Everything is just so easy to grab. If I, if I need to get something off Amazon, I can just, one click away I can get it. I mean that's what that's what we all strive for, right? Like comfort comfortability for our kids, for our future generations. And we're not opening up ourselves to any opportunities or or for me at least, like I'm not going out there every weekend and like interviewing homeless people and hearing their story or because that's like one thing I've been wanting to do for a while. Or just traveling a lot more, right? Taking I'm in my twenties, like people would pay millions of dollars and drop everything to go back to their twenties for those who may be in their sixties, seventies. I feel like I'm wasting my time. Not wasting it, but I'm taking it for granted. I feel like all I'm doing is just like waiting for something and just living day by day. I'm not trying to like burn myself out because I've done that so many times in the past, but I feel like I'm not doing enough. And as much as I want to go travel, explore the East Coast, go hiking, which I can do, which is crazy, right? Like I'm tw like, I don't have to be at home to do my NAMI volunteer. Yeah, it's more comfortable and accessible. I feel like that's one thing I learned from studying abroad in Singapore that the more you get out of the places you're comfortable and you put yourself in, you put obstacles in front of you, you learn more about yourself as you overcome those obstacles. Yeah, it sucks, but you learn more about yourself. Like who doesn't want to learn more about themselves? Who doesn't know, want to know how to live a more fulfilling life and a life that, that isn't molded by what society expects, but is a life that you made for yourself and you're proud of? The crazy thing is there's no blueprint. Everyone has their own blueprint. Everyone has their own treasure map and they just have to sort of discover that as they live life. The question for you guys is like, what's holding you guys back from chasing your dreams or doing the things you always, want, always wanted to do, but you couldn't? I mean, obviously like you can't like fly to the moon. There are certain things that you know you can still get if you put in the work, if you set maybe like 30 minutes aside every single day. But like, I think we all gotta figure that out and we all gotta like slowly start living a life where we're mindful, we're like actively and proactively living a life where we are happier because we're doing the things that we want to do in life. I feel like once you start doing that, a lot of things start to like fall into place and you start seeing a perspective of the world that you never knew you could have. Like every time you look at the world, you have a lens on and like all it takes is like a catastrophe or a, an amazing life experience to change that glasses and you see this world in a totally different perspective. If a loved one passes away, your lens might change as in you see life in a way that's more valuable. You see time that's more pre as more precious. Or you can see it in the other way. You, you lost the most important person in your life and that there's no more meaning in life. So it's like all these like, all these experiences changes the lens of how you see the world. And I feel like until you get to try on different lenses, you can see which lens fits best for your life. Again, don't hold back. Find what makes you happy and go for it, you know? Take the small steps. Yeah, it might seem impossible, but break it down. Make it to steps that you can actually take and then take those steps. In the, in the moments where you feel like just giving up and just wanting to not the energy, take a break. You know, that's the truth. Just take a break and once you're ready, 
be gentle with yourself and get out and keep moving. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.